Hi everyone, welcome to Cody's Lab. So today I'm going to be etching some glass. I got these here glass bottles that have no branding on them. And I'm going to go ahead and put my own brand on them by etching them with ammonium bifluoride. And this stuff is uh, similar to hydrofluoric acid except it's been toned down because you've added uh, ammonia to it which uh, makes it not so acidic. But it'll still dissolve glass and steel and other metals. But it won't dissolve plastic, and if I dip my hand in it, it probably wouldn't eat my skin off immediately. So we're going to go ahead and experiment with this a little bit. I'm just going to draw on here with some uh, beeswax. We draw Cody's lab or something. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and put it in a solution of this. Let it sit in there for a couple hours. Wash it all off, and then see if we got it etched. Just these uh, clear crystalline flakes here. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in. Here we are. After about three hours of etching. Like it's uh, been eating away at the glass. Let's go wash this off and see how good this looks. So the wax is still on there, which is good. Let's go ahead and wipe that off. Here we go. You can see that it does say honey. The etch is not really deep, so we might leave it in a little bit longer for the other ones. But you can definitely still read it. So here are the jars. All done, all filled with honey. I don't know if you can see this. You can see the solution that's left over here. I can reuse this, so I will put it in a jug. I've been using this thing here with the ammonium bifluoride written on it. You can actually see uh, some uh, white stuff that's come out. You see that? I think that's actually calcium fluoride, because there's uh, calcium in the uh, glass. because It's a soda-lime glass. The silicon fluoride produced as the silica in the glass dissolves is completely soluble, and I might collect it and extract it eventually. Some of you have requested that I explain the chemistry, so I've added two chemical equations here. The top one is the silica of the main component of glass being dissolved by ammonium bifluoride. This forms silicon tetrafluoride, which reacts with water to form hydrofluorosilic acid. Also, it forms ammonium fluoride and water. The bottom equation is what would happen if I reacted it with hydrofluoric acid. As you can see, the equation is very similar. The only real difference is that the ammonium fluoride is not present, and this uh, bottom reaction is much faster. Here's another piece of glass that I etched. You can see I etched my girlfriend's name into it and gave it to her for her birthday. The uh, etching on this is slightly deeper than on those bottles, so you can see it a little bit better. And I've also added some little flowers on the side, see that? I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, I like the fact that I'm able to etch things. I think if I start mass producing bottles, I might start doing this because it's actually pretty easy. It's permanent and whatnot. And I was thinking even that if like somebody ordered some bottles from me or something, I could like custom put their name on it or something simple. I think that'd be pretty cool, yeah? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.